What is up guys? I am Chinzo and this is my first wood burn. I'm just gonna lay down a quick sketch. Nothing fancy, I just wanna lay something down pretty quick. No peeking. Right, not bad. All right, so that's how it turned out. I'll let you guys get a better look. Not too bad. All jokes aside, this piece actually took me a few hours to draw. Being that it's my first piece, I don't want to ruin it right off the bat at least. So I'm gonna divide it into a few sections. I'm gonna include every different texture, different piece that's on here so I can at least have something to practice on. Over here on the practice piece, I have a little slice of every texture from the main piece is over here on the practice piece. So I can kind of practice here on the scales. I've got a, a little patch of sky and some smoke here, a little bit of cherry blossom, and this is where I'm gonna practice the tail. So the first tip that I practiced with is the blade tip, I believe it's called. It has a nice sharp point, a slanted edge, and it seemed pretty straightforward. I imagine it would be good for detail work, so that's what I used it for. I just practiced a bit on this cherry blossom and just got an overall feel for it. Next I went in with the shading tip. And this one took a little bit of getting used to. I had to be mindful of how much pressure I was applying and how quick I was applying my strokes. But after playing with it for a little while, I was able to get a somewhat consistent shading pattern. Next, I decided to try my hand at the koi fish scales. I did take a brief second to try out the writing tip that came included with this package. But at this point, I found it a little bit awkward and not very useful. So I practiced with it a little bit and then just put it aside. And I believe I ended up using it later to touch up some detail work and stuff like that. Just some small pieces. But for now, I decided to stick to the blade tip and the shading tip. So I'm finally working my main piece now. I'm using the blade tip and a heat setting of about four and a half. At this temperature, I'm able to find a pretty good rhythm and get my timing down pretty well. I did burn the scales using the same blade tip that I used to do the line work, but if I were to do it again, I may consider using the sharp edge of the shader tip because I later found out while doing the finger waves that I can achieve a really nice curve using the very edge of this tip. These scales did give me a little bit of trouble. They were kind of tricky and it wasn't until I got about midway through the fish's body until I developed a technique where I would hold the pin firmly and roll my thumb inwards toward my hand and roll my index finger outward. And that would allow me to kind of roll the pin to be able to achieve that nice smooth curve and after a few practice runs, I was able to do these skills fairly consistently. And after that, 
the rest of the skills actually went pretty quick. So now I'm shading the scales using the shading tip. There's nothing really technical going on here. I'm just kind of filling it out and learning as I go. Now I'm going in on the finger waves with the very top edge of the shader tip. I know this isn't the intended purpose for this tip, but for now it's allowing me to get some really clean curved lines. And if I use the correct speed and pressure, I can even achieve a nice tapered line. So I did decide to use the writing tip after all. I used it to burn the line work in the clouds in the hope that it would provide a nice contrast between the soft edges of the clouds and the sharp hard line work that I've used so far. I did take a few minutes to practice on my practice board before starting on the waves. I did my line work on the waves using the sharp edge of the shading tip, then I used the flat surface to shade them in. I use the waves as an opportunity to practice my shading techniques and my fading and blending. And for the ones that I was unhappy with, I ended up just burning the entire wave black, leaving only the top portion to separate each wave.
So I'm just about done with this piece. I burned it over the course of about four days, burning only a few hours each day. In total, it took me about 10 hours to complete this piece. I had a great time making this one, although it required an enormous amount of patience and a lot of trial and error. I want to thank you guys for watching and I look forward to doing a lot more videos just like this in the near future. Thank you guys again for watching and if you want to see more, please hit subscribe.